Yo, welcome back to the vlog guys. It's a little bit windy. Today, 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 I already did the other side. We are going to be changing out the wheel hub. Car makes a woo 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 noise around 40 miles per hour. So, car's on jack stands. New wheel hub is over there. I'm going to take these out. I just broke them too. I got, guess they need some more. I'm going to take this wheel off. And special guest to the show, I'm not here. Matthew. So we're gonna change these out. I think I might show you how to do it. There's a bunch of videos on how to do it. So I'm fighting with myself if I should show y'all how to do it. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of professional videos on this. Matt's over there talking crap as usual. But let me uh, get this side out. You know what? Now that I loosened it. You know, I'm not, I'm not using my brain, bro. Why? Coronavirus. I don't know. I got nothing to do with me. <laughs> That's a good question, Matt. That is a good question. And I'm trying to one hand everything at the same time. One hand man. With the plan. To destroy everything in the land. Because everybody knows I'm the man. If you don't agree, then you can hit the sand. I should just be a rapper, bro. Call it a date. There we go. <sighs> I'm just recording. <laughs> I'm one-handing, so. All right, car came with spacers and that crap right there. So, caliper has to come off first. Wheel sensor in the back has to come off. After that, um, where's the screw? I don't see the screw. Hmm. Did you loosen up the e-brake yet? No. You have to loosen up the e-brake also. If I can get to it. Try to just open the door to get to it. But you put the brick, right? All right. <laughs> said what brick? There should be a little screw somewhere. Huh. This one doesn't have the screw in it. So that means when you take this off, this is just gonna fall off then. The uh, the little screw that holds the uh, rotor. Oh, this one does This one doesn't. Well then, right? Huh? You wanna take the one that's on here? This one got two, so we got plenty. This one has two? Yeah, so you got plenty of them. Hmm. One for one side, for two sides. So we're gonna take off the, I didn't wanna show my face. Mm. Cause I look ugly right now. <laughs> We're gonna take off all the bolts holding the. Uh, I'm tired, bro. I'm already tired. The caliper to the brake rotor, and then we'll be back. So you have extended so, studs on this one. Extended studs on the new one? On the old one. That's extended studs? Yeah. Hold on, let me come over there. I didn't know that. Um, this is my side. I got the caliper off. Uh, consists of 12s and 14s. Um, 10 for the speed sensor right here and uh, 10 for the no 12 for the brake line right here I just two, just bro. zip tied it to there Matt's already putting in a new one so let me head over that side show you the old one and the new one let me see oh, you got extended studs on here, man. it's extended studs on the old one yeah Oh wow, that's crazy. And plus this is more thinner right here, so I might push back more. See? Mmm. No bueno. I don't know why they put it. Well we gotta remember this car used to be slammed, so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they were running deep dish wheels and then they had extended studs. Alright, so you might not be able to run spacers, maybe, I don't know. You'll see. We'll see. Cause the car came with spacers too, but those yeah. are those are like not even five millimeters. They're lightweight. Yeah, they might they might be fine. They could probably still run them. They came on the car, so. Yes. But yeah, this is the old one. So, oh. Matt said it was really bad. And this is the new one. So this is how it looks on Matt's side. Uh, once you get down to cheater. taking off the rotor. What do you mean cheater? This is like the F cat, man. Why are you cheating off my side, bro? Okay, you started before me and you have power tools. 
No, I don't. Yes, you do. Where's your ratchet at? You little <laughs> ratchet right here. No, bro. that ain't the ratchet, That's bro. Ratchet yeah, right so your arm goes. Yeah, yeah right. Bro. Okay, this man got power tools and everything on this side. Try me. So he's gonna install the new one, and then I'll show you guys back on my side with nothing but standard tools. Okay. <laughs> Let me see, you're supposed to match it up. There you go. Four bolts go in from the back side. Doing, all right. The bolts are from the back side. And then once that part's done, I believe he puts the rotor back on. Right? I'm not telling you. Okay, I'll figure it out. It's my first time doing this. Huh? You too? Yeah, but you've done it on your car, so you already have a knowledge of it. This is my first time. This is my first time doing it at all. Huh? Plus, mine doesn't even have the screws in it, so mine's... How does mine come off if I don't have the screws? What, your rotor? Yeah. It comes off. It's... <laughs> don't feel like it. Let me figure it out. All right, so we're back on my side, where I didn't cheat. <laughs> I had to use the hammer and bang this side and that side until it popped loose because this side doesn't have a screw. Which, uh, you said that's I had two screws, right? For the uh, rotor? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna take one screw from his and put it on here so they'll both have one each. What do you mean I'm stealing stuff from you? One. So there's four bolts, two, they're in the back, they're both 14s. So I'm gonna crack them, pull them out, You're and then crack. this should slide out. Bro! What you just said? I'm on crack? All right, dog. I'm about to throw like my hammer over there or something. Luckily, don't break anything on my car. You're gonna break something. Yeah, I'm gonna break the windshield. Let me stop. <laughs> it's finally out. Matt, did you clean inside the where the, where it was before you go went back in there? I just used my finger and wiped it around. Okay, because if there's dirt in there, that could be bad. All right. Well, you want to make sure in here is clean, which mine is actually. And this is the old one. This on this side. It looks way better, but we come to find out that this side's extended lug. So we're going away from the extended lug because your boy don't plan on any time running aggressive wheels like that to have to be extended. And if I do, I'll just run I'll just run um hub centric spacers which uh bolts which basically extends the lug for you. They could have just did that too. They could have ran it um hub centric. Maybe the time didn't have that out. Hub Centric's been out by the time this car was out. Uh, give me a second, guys. You can pass me the knife. Huh? The knife. The knife I gave you. You, you didn't put the knife back up, bro? You don't know how to handle a knife? No. Oh, my God. You're not violent? You don't have to be violent to know how to handle a knife, bro. No, you don't. All right, man. Am I violent? Not that much. Huh? <laughs> All right, here's a new one. So, time to install the new one. Those were the four bolts that were holding in the previous one. And we'll be good. All right, so once you get the four in, before we do anything else, the four in the back have to be torqued down to 47 foot pounds. So uh, Matt's going to torque his side down because he's all done. And I'm going to put everything back together and then torque the four in the back. And that should be it. You put the, seat, the speed sensor back in? No. Oh, snap. I did. <laughs> I'm just messing with Matt. He already knows up. Yeah, I can see the lugs are a lot shorter. So that means the ones in the front are probably extended too. Oh, well. Yo, my strength is up to 47 foot pounds, dog. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. Mine's probably not because I left them. I kind of left them like waiting for it. That's because you got baby strength. I don't have baby strength. I'll punch baby you right strength. now and show you. Come here. No. Come here. No. <laughs> all right, we're all done. I'm done with my side. Matt's been done with his side. You're uh, good. Come to find out that the spacers don't work anymore because the spacers were there because the stunts. The studs were extended from the previous uh, wheel hub. So with that being said, we don't need to run the spaces in the rear anymore. So that means the front studs are extended, but I don't have any issues in the front. 
So until I start hearing that same woo-woo noise again, then we'll change the front. We're gonna lower it down. Just gotta jack it up, take off the uh, thing. Clean up everything. Matt, you wanna give him an update on the EK? Okay. You wanna give him an update on the EK? Okay. <laughs> From the tune, anything changed? Um, I think my white band's going bad. Why, man? Yo. What about that 300 horsepower all motor that you're trying to do? Yo, man. <laughs> on Facebook, bro. What do you mean? Like a 300 horsepower B20V. 13 and a half to one compression piston. And stroke, too, right? Stroke, too. To 102 millimeters. Ugh, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> you say you went on um, M5. Uh huh. It oh, made more power. It made more power. It made more yeah, power. M5. But it's not. It's not. It's hard to fill up more on that field than it is on E85. Oh, 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 there's something on the other side. What's over here? Oh, the chrome handles. Oh yeah. Yo, so don't flame them because I love it, but a lot of people don't like it right now. This is the chrome side of the car. So get get what I'm going. The car has the polished wheels chrome handles chrome trim chrome door handles right to me it looks clean come to this side he's gonna get the other the other one we're just testing it out we got the same setup but with the black tell me what y'all think y'all think he should go chrome he's gonna do it anyway but what do you guys think because now he could go back and forth chrome to black if he wants because he has the rest of them i think this looks cool to yeah to me because he has the because of the wheels and because of the chrome trim I think the handle set it off. Please leave a comment, like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna drop the car down, go for a drive, and see if I hear any woo 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 noise. Woo -woo 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 -woo. All right, car's on the floor, so I'm gonna go for a quick drive back home because I don't live too far from Matt. And then I'll end the video there, let you guys know if it made a difference. I bought this from eBay, by the way, some off eBay brand because. You know, it's the, what, what's what's going on right now? This whole virus thing is going on right now. So I didn't want to spend too much money on, what is that? What is this? I didn't want to spend too much money on buying one and not knowing what was going to happen in the future. So we're going to go for a drive and then I'll close out the video when I get there. I just took it for a couple of spins. Everything feels good. I wind the window up and turn the AC on and listen to the noise. Wind the window up and turn the AC off. Listen to the noise because it'll be like on the highway or it got to the point where like now over 45, 40, 40 to 45 miles per hour. I start to make that noise. Noise is completely gone. I did a couple pulls too just to make sure everything was fine. And it feels really, really good. So all in all, everything is good. Good. I paid like... Uh, I'll say like maybe 80 something, uh, 60 something bucks. I completely forgot what I paid for it, to be honest. I think maybe like 80 something bucks I paid for it. But everything came out nice. Car drives good. Bit by bit, we getting there. Guys, please, please, please remember to like, comment, and share these videos. It will do me a big solid. We're almost at 400. I really want to do a giveaway when I hit 500. So guys, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. And please comment, man. I love interacting with you guys. A couple people ask me questions on car stuff and part numbers and whatnot. And I really like helping you guys out when I get the chance. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.